Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 28, the screencast that oversimplifies Python and makes it seem easier than it really is. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about compiled modules and the dir function. So just to tie up a few odds and ends with modules, let's take a look at that fibo.py that we created. Notice that right next to it is a fibo.pyc. As soon as we imported fibo.py as a module, Python created fibo.pyc, which is a compiled version of fibo.py. Now, by compiled, I don't mean that this is down to machine code. This is actually binary. Um, and what this is useful for is if you have a huge number of standard libraries that are included in your module, this can make loading faster. Another thing you can do with the .pyc file is you could distribute that and it will somewhat obfuscate your code. Uh, it you know, is sort of a binary blob. So if I said file on fibo.py, we see that that's a script. And if I looked at the pyc, this just shows as data. So if I did a head on fibo.pyc, it's, it's a whole bunch of garbage. So that's somewhat interesting and just worthy of note. Python also includes a huge standard a uh, huge list of standard modules that come included right with it. Uh, sometimes they say Python has its batteries included. As we move on a little bit further, we're going to use a lot more of that standard library. But for now, it's just worth noting that there's a whole lot that isn't right in the, in the normal language itself, but is just an import away that comes right shipped with Python. The next thing we're going to learn about here is the dir function. Dir is a way of showing the namespace. So let's take a look. Dir. And we see all of these different names that are included. Now some of these things in, out, uh, they're just built right in. And we haven't actually created anything yet. So if I just said a equals foo, b equals foo, did a dir again, we see there's a and there's b. This also works on a module. If I imported fibo, but I wasn't sure what was in fibo, I could just say dir fibo. Now for those who want to use IPython, IPython includes something called whos, which gives you a little bit more information. It sort of strips out those built-in underscore underscore variables and just shows you what you're, you've, you've defined. So we've pulled in Fibo as a module, we have created a variable b and a variable a. They're both strings, and we see the data that's actually contained within those. That can be quite useful. Now, the standard module built in, you can actually do dir built in, and this is going to show all those things that are sort of built in. Sorry. I need to import it first. And this shows everything that's sort of built in. You've seen some of these before. Zip, tuple, sum. These all look pretty familiar. But that gives you a list of all of the things that are built in that you wouldn't see in your, in your interactive symbol, symbol table. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org. 